So I just got done filming six Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. And I originally only set out to make like, I don't know, one or two today. And then I just got carried away. And what I ended up doing was making a boy two to four, four girl two to four, boy five to nine, girl five to nine, boy 10 to 14, girl 10 to 14. So I made one of each. And as I was filming them, I was totally intending on just making six separate YouTube videos. And then I realized that all my videos were really quite short. Um, just because I didn't really have a lot of explanation and a lot of the things that I include are kind of repetitive. I don't think in a bad way, but like I always include a school kit and I have a separate video of what I include in every school kit. So I don't see the point of explaining it on every single video when I can just link you to that video. Same thing with like first aid kits. I have a separate video on what I include in my first aid kits. So I don't need to explain it on every single video when I can just direct you to go watch that video if you're curious as to what's in that bag. So I decided, so originally I was going to put all six in one video and I decided that might be a little bit too much for people. Um, so what I'm going to do is include two videos for each. So I'm going to do girl and boy two to four. That'll be this video, girl and boy five to nine, and girl and boy 10 to 14. And so here you go. All right, here we've got a boy two to four box. It's so funny that I'm like filming this last, but this is gonna be one of the first videos, but that's okay. Um, so in my box, originally I wanted to make it like monster themed, but I didn't end up having enough monster stuff, I guess. But we have this adorable, I don't even know, I think it's called an ugly doll, but honestly, I think it's adorable. I think it's great for that age group. And it comes with this little, it came with this little card that the child will see eventually when they open the box. And it's in a bunch of different languages, which I thought was really cool. Um, especially if they, you know, it goes to a country that doesn't speak English. It comes with a little... I don't think it's a sticker. It's just like the little picture of this guy. And it says, start the day with a belly laugh. Um, I think the second one's French. Third one's definitely Spanish. Don't know what that fourth one is. So, I just thought that was super cute. Continuing through this box, we have a miniature train set. There's two little tracks, or three little tracks and two little train pieces. This is the portable clothesline that I found when I was cleaning out my house. It fit in this box. It didn't honestly fit in a lot of my boxes. And this obviously is more of a gift for the parent, but I think that a guardian would be able to use that very, and put, put it to, I think a guardian would be able to put this to really good use for the child and anyone else in the household. We have a tennis ball, pretty easy for a child to play with. We have two digging tools, a shovel and this, I don't know, digger. <laughs> we have a the first aid kit. It is in a plastic bag because I didn't have enough of reusable bags to put this in. I'm put a little bit of sewing things in there. We got floss, band-aids, nail clippers, um, tweezers. I have an entire video on that, which I will link below. I put one little scrunchie in here, honestly, just because, I don't know, could use it for a rubber band or something else, but I just saw it and it was on the ground and it matched, so I threw it in there. We have got two toothbrushes. Now, I know a lot of my other ones that I made today didn't have these, um, covers on them, but I just kind of ran out of covers, I guess. So that one was already on there, so we'll keep it. A little spoon and a little fork. This is a school kit. The younger kids get, I keep saying the younger kids get a basic one, but honestly, they get pretty much all the same things. They get a set of colored pencils, a set of pencils. I put a little sharpener in there, and I think I put like an eraser in there. I really like putting colored pencils in there, honestly, because they, um, I think they're more practical than markers or crayons because crayons can melt, markers dry out. Colored pencils, I think, are a lot more practical, and that's why I've been putting them in, like, all of my boxes. So these are little monster socks. 
another little pair of monster socks two bars of soap as usual I love putting puzzles in because I just think they're great for brain and motor development so this is fair and it shows you you know what it's supposed to look like and then it has numbers of how they're all supposed to match together a small notebook my younger kids get smaller notebooks than the older kids a comb which I usually put in boy brushes or boy boxes we've got another little puzzle here I didn't open it up out of the plastic only because it's going to fall to pieces and then I'll just have to put it in a plastic baggie anyway I don't know so I left that like that for now a little coloring kit I thought Paw Patrol was really cute and I didn't have like a monster one so there we go a little pair of underwear a whistle I think a kid could get a kick out of that and then two washcloths and then as always I'll also be putting a carrying bag in here but that's pretty much it so hopefully you've got some ideas for this two to four um it's a lot of i mean this stuffed animal is really large but i think that's awesome for a two to four child to have i think they would really appreciate it and then we've got some puzzle games um some coloring a train so hopefully this gives you some ideas of things to put in for a boy two to four child okay we are back with a girl two to four box now this little carrying bag over here is the carrying bag that belongs in here i just didn't feel like unpacking it all just to um put it in the bottom of there because we know it's a pretty flat item so it's definitely gonna fit i'm actually even even able to close this one well barely <laughs> Um, my boxes usually do need rubber bands, so that's something I'll be getting at a different time. But anyway, there's not a particular theme to this box. However, I will say it is pretty, um, girly. So hopefully this definitely goes to a girl 2 to 4 because this is definitely very, very themed toward a girl 2 to 4. So we've got a cute doggy stuffed animal. I will probably take off the tag out of that. Um, I just thought that stuffed animal was cute. It's kind of big too, but not super big and very good for a small child. We've got one of my pink tennis balls for them to play with. Um, I show these two things in a haul, a shopping haul, um, just some outdoor toys to dig and play with. It came in a set of four, which is obviously too much for the box, but if I spend I figure if I split it up two and two, that those are great additions to some children's boxes. This is a small water bottle, and inside it I put some scrunchies, some hair, el hair elastics, some hair clips, a chapstick, um, and some just like hanging clips. Oh, you know what I did forget? I did. I totally forgot to do a first aid kit, but those don't take up a lot of space, so I'll get one of those in here too. Um, we've got two bars of soap this is a school kit for a younger child so it just has pencils uh, erasers colored pencils things like that this is a bandana that I found in my house this is a little play pack just something simple for the girl to draw with this is a puzzle I love giving puzzles to children I think they are very good developmentally so this is a picture of what it looks like it's kind of falling apart but it helps you with the numbers and everything, how to put it together. So that is great for the child to learn with. I only have one toothbrush in this. I would like to get a second one. Um, I put a small notebook in my younger child boxes. And this one comes with those, I don't know what it's called. Um, it's like a little scene and you have these little things that you can stick on but it's removable so you can, can like remake the scene and stuff so I really like that for a young child especially because it's removable we've got a fork and spoon I do try to put those in my boxes a little comb I don't know that the younger kids really need hair brushes because they don't have that much hair yet so we've got a little comb in there we've got two pairs of little socks one pair of underwear yeah, I think only one was all I had, but I think that'll be okay. There's a lot of other stuff in this box. A little hat. This is a little outfit. It is a 4T. I got this on like a good sale. So it's a 4T, it's a little dress, and it comes with a little pair of shorts to go underneath, some little bloomers, and then we've got our washcloth, as always. So, the things I am missing from this box are 
a second toothbrush, which I have to buy, possibly a second pair of underwear, and I've got to put the first aid kit in, which I'll do that right now before I pack it up in the little bag. Then I'll make myself a little note as to what other things I might want to buy to include. This was a really quick video. Um, but I mean, I think it's pretty basic, and a lot of the things that I include, I include in a lot of my boxes, so I don't want to spend too much time going through each and every item, especially when you can see more detail, like what's in my school kits and stuff, because I have a whole entire video about that. Um, so hopefully this was helpful. I mean, I really actually like this for a girl two to four. Hopefully that gives you some ideas as to what you may want to include in your boxes. It's, it's really just ideas. There's no right or wrong answer as to what should be included. Um, there's certain things that I like to include in every box, but I'm sure some other people have some separate staple items that maybe I don't include in mine. So it's just really what you feel is best. And so these are my ideas. Again, no right or wrong answer, but I'm just putting it, ooh, I just like slapped my hands. But I'm just putting it up there, putting it out there to give people some ideas and hopefully it helps.